Hello students, welcome you to your maths class. In our maths class, as you know, we are doing our chapter for ordinal numbers. Today we are going to learn ordinal numbers in an interesting way. So, are you ready for it? Here you can see some kinds of different colors. Red, yellow, blue, green, white, orange. Now, I will paste these guides on the board and we write their positions according to their heights. So, shall we start? Now, I am going to paste these guides on the board. Now we make their space. Now I make some clouds. And birds that are always appear in the sky. Clouds. Birds. looking beautiful. Right? Now students will write their positions. Will write their positions according to their heights. Like kite with the maximum height will be at the first position and the kite just below it will be at the second position. And you remember now how to write their ordinal numbers, their positions? One Means cardinal number and then small s t and it's with its spelling f i r s t first. So here we are going to start. Observe the heights of the kites. Which kite is the maximum highest position with the maximum height? It is this blue kite. Is at the highest position. So we write one cardinal number, then small as t, and we write it spelling words f i r s t first. Then the kite just below it. This one, this 
grey color. So we'll write there position second to small n p with its spelling s e c o n d second and then students we can check their heights by drawing a line like this right so this height just below it means it is at third position so we'll write third three small r d and then it's spelling t h i r d third and then this red color red color is at fourth position so we write four four p h and then four f o u r t h four This yellow kite, this yellow kite is at fifth position. Yes, this is at fifth position. So we write five e h and then fifth f i f p. H. Fifth. This pink kite is at sixth position. We can check the positions by drawing the line. Yes. This kite. This kite. This pink kite is at sixth position. So we write six. Six. P H. And then six. Now next kite, orange. This orange kite, right? Check the position with white. Yes, orange kite is at seventh position. So we write seven. P H and then it's spelled S E V E N P H seventh. Then this white part it is at eighth position. Eight eight P H and then right eight. E I G H P H eight. Then this green kite is at ninth position. Nine. P H and then write nine. And I am T H. This last guy, this is at the lowest height. So we write M. P E N T H. Now we'll read their positions according to their colors. This blue guy is at first position. F I R S T first. This grey guy is at second position. S E C O N D second. This yellow guy is at third position. P H I R D third. This red guy is at fourth position. 
F O U R T H. Fourth. This yellow type is at fifth position. F I F T H. Fifth. This pink type is at sixth position. S I X T H. Sixth. This orange type is at seventh position. S E V E N T H. Seventh. This white type is at eighth position. E I G H T H. Eighth. This green type is at ninth position. N I N T H. Ninth. This grey type is at tenth position. P E N T H. Now we will do some practice of ordinal numbers with these types. This side, I write some fill in the blanks related to these types. Fill in the map. First, the dash and dash types are new. Second, Dash type is at first position. Full stop. Third. Dash type. Last position. Fourth, there are dash types in. Now, after observing these types, we have to fill these blanks. Our first fill in the blanks is the dash and dash types are yellow. We have to fill the positions of yellow type. This third one, third and fifth. So, our answer is the third and fifth types are yellow. So we write here third and fifth. The third and fifth types are yellow. Our next fill in the blanks is dash type is at first position. So which type is at first position? Blue. This blue type is at First position. So our answer is blue type is at first position. We we'll make B capital as it is the first letter of the sentence. Next, dash type is at last position. How many types are here? 
10. So it means 10 is the last position. So we'll see the 10th position. Which kind is at the 10th position? This grey kite. This grey kite is at 10th position. So we write grey kite. Grey. Make G capital. G R E Y. Grey. Grey kite is at last position. Next. Here are dash kites in total. How many kites are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many kites are here? Ten. Here little listen to me carefully. I'm not asking about the position. I'm asking about the number of kites available here. Clear? So we we'll write number of kites here. There are ten kites in total. So our answer is 10. Clear? Next. Dash types are gray. Same. Here I am asking about number of gray types. Not their position. So count the gray types. 1 and 2. This is right. Okay? 1 and 2. So two types are Gray. Our answer is 2. You can write like this and you can write the number name also. 2. T W O 2. Similarly here you can write the number name here also. 10. Clear students? The third and fifth kites are yellow. Third and fifth kites are yellow. Next, blue kite is at first position. Blue kite, blue kite is at first position. Gray kite is at last position. Here you can see gray, gray kite, this gray kite is at 10th position, 10th is last. The total numbers of kites are here, 10. So gray kite is at last position. There are 10 kites in total. 10 kites, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 kites. Two kites are gray. Two kites. One and two. Two kites are gray in color. It is clear to everyone. Now we will do one more practice of ordinal numbers. Now we will do practice of ordinal numbers with matchmaking. This side I will write short ordinal numbers and this side I will write their Spellings. First, second, then I write fourth, then I write first, then I write sixth, and then tenth. This side I write the spellings. Fourth. Then we match these ordinal numbers with their spellings. 
So this is second. What's the spelling of second? S D C O N D. Where it is? Yes. So we'll match these short ordinary numbers with its spelling. Next, fourth. Fourth. The spelling of fourth is F O U R T H. Where it is? Yes. Here. So we'll match this fourth with its spelling. Next, first. First, we have, what is the spelling of first? F I R S T. First. So, first is here. So, we'll match this with its spelling. F I R S T. First. Next, six. What is the spelling of six? Yes, S I X T H. It is here. So match the six with its spelling. Next, tenth. Here it is, T E N T H. So match this with its spelling. Tenth. Spelling of second is. S E O C N G second fourth F O U R T H fourth first F I R S T first six S I X T H six tenth T E N T H tenth clear student hope it is clear to everyone the concept of ordinal numbers. Now students, what will you have to do? In your course book, on the page 73, do let's try 2. In this, question number first is, look at the picture, complete the sentences. You have to complete these sentences by observe, uh, after observing the position of the fishes. Next, do the following as directed. Circle the first square. One has been done for you. Next, color the third triangle. Color the second and fourth rectangles. Color the correct item. Six step. You have to color. Six carat. First you have to write their position and then color. Second gift box. Third leaf. Fifth V. So students, do these worksheets neatly. Thank you.